and welcome. This is Dave White sitting in for the one and only Tom O'Brien. We got a lot of stuff going on. Got some earnings coming out after the bell. We'll talk about what happened today and sum up the market. But uh, interesting day, but not surprising, uh, at least on my call uh, during my show at two. I called for what I th kind of think is uh, markets that are just a little bit uh, tired of going up. Probably going to see some sideways action. And, of course, the real question is how are these stocks going to react? Earnings probably going to be okay. Some may be a little bit better than others. The real question is what do these guys say in the conference calls? Because uh, guess what? All these guys are looking, uh, most of them are looking at significant changes to the tax policy. Some of those people were well positioned. Some of them were not. And uh, we had that this morning. Uh, Lennar came out, uh, was down at uh, 65.75 earlier in the morning. Uh, it closed out at 68.25, uh, mostly on the basis of their conference call looking at strong uh, sales. They are in the right parts of the nation that will uh, do well. I know that they are big here in Florida, but uh, they think that uh, the preliminary uh, interest of the last uh, month of the year uh, and the first uh, couple of weeks so far uh, makes them think that uh, we've got uh, or they've got the right combinations and are in the right states for growth. Uh, KBH Homes is out after the bell tonight and the first uh, blinks I see are them down a little bit. But again, uh, so was uh, Lenar before they started talking about uh, how things were probably going to be better. Now, this is not going to be across the board. And a lot of it also has to do with how much cash is overseas that can be repatriated. Uh, so U.S. companies, U.S. builders, probably not going to get into that. They're going to be more about the taxes. Uh, the f uh, companies that have global reach, uh, like uh, the FANG companies, is going to be a lot about how much of that cash is going to come back and be put into share rebuying. Now, just remember that five stocks uh, out of the 100 in the NASDAQ re basically ended up being 58% of all the returns in the NASDAQ uh, last year. So, you know, they're heavily weighted to a handful of them. Those handful, of course, have the biggest uh, cash reserves overseas. So, if you're going after the NASDAQ, it's going to be problematic, uh, and you think it's going to go lower. If you're looking at things, maybe there's pockets or sectors in the, uh, in the uh, S&P that might be better off. But uh, when they start going down, my guess is they're going to start buying their shares back, and you're going to be fighting a uh, long and protracted battle costing millions of lives waiting for these things to pay off. This may be the proverbial pot that you wait to see boil. Now, there are going to be stocks that both outperform and underperform this year. And your job, I suspect, is not going to be playing the indexes, but playing individual sectors and more likely being in the right individual stocks over the next year. As we ended the day, we were down three points on the S&P cash. The Dow was uh, off, uh, what, 17 almost. Uh, NASDAQ was down 10. That was uh, way better than uh, some parts of the day. But uh, again, uh, everything kind of shows that we kind of got up to levels that were fairly high uh, and it didn't really look like they were going to roll over. It does look like uh, there is an opportunity uh, to uh, take a look at this market and say, maybe not topped out, but tired. And uh, maybe it needs a rest. Maybe it needs some earnings uh, before it can find a footing and go higher. Maybe it's just going to go sideways for a while. Uh, you can look at when commodities tend to run fairly well. Uh, that's not a that's a fairly good indication that the equity markets go sideways a lot of times. So you might get an idea of that. And of course, uh, gold and crude up today, but uh, we'll also talk about that. And of course, uh, as always, I like to start my show off with a little bit of history. And uh, we do that with the history song. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. 
It is history repeating it on this day in 2009. Sashio Nakatoma releases the first vision of Bitcoin software and launches the network of the decentralized peer-to-peer -peer cryptocurrency that has become the bubble du jour in markets. Six days earlier, uh, he had generated his first block of 50 Bitcoins, now known as the Genesis block. And uh, eventually, they're pretty sure that you know who did all this. It's a, a millionaire, not quite billionaire, uh, down in Australia. Uh, they did find a lot of these early emails on the mailing list and tracked it back to his home. Doesn't mean it was him, but probably means somebody in his home. And uh, certainly it's probably him, <laughs> but we have no proof. Uh, even the Australian government raided his home when they figured that out and came up with nothing. So maybe he's got it buried out there in the vast wasteland that is most of Australia, but no one will ever know. But uh, the phenomena that happened overnight actually started almost 10 years ago today in 2009. Uh, again, uh, a lot of stuff going on out here uh, of the outperformers in the market. Uh, the ones I was looking at uh, tended to be uh, the airlines today. Most of them gapped up. We've got uh, earnings in the morning for those. What is it uh, tomorrow? Okay, Thursday, Delta Airlines, <clears throat> Shaw Communications, I think that's kind of it. Uh, Delta is at 7 a.m. And, of course, then we get to Friday. It's really a lot bigger. And I think the market's kind of on hold for that. J.P. Morgan, Wells Fargo, BlackRock, and PNC all before the bell on Friday morning. So we're going to probably see what's going on in that part of the market. Um, well, it is Friday. Or not Friday. It's, it is Wednesday. And I'm sitting in here for Tom O'Brien. And uh, you know what? I would love to hear your dulcet tones. Give me a call at 877-927-6648. Email me at path at tfnn.com or put a message in the den and we'll cover it too.